Hi, welcome to Oakwood Amster. Today we'll be taking a look at this telescope. It's 80 millimeters. And let's open this up. The last telescope I reviewed, that was a 70 millimeter telescope. It's not bad, still use it. First thing is a tripod. Here are specs for it. So I can extend up to 59 inches. It's a combination of plastic and aluminum. Like a center rod here is aluminum, plastic on the outside. Adjustable foot rests there. It's got a quick release. It's all plastic here. It wouldn't matter because the telescope should be lightweight and it's foam padded inside. Got a little ball leveler. Hook on the bottom. It's a mini Astro Reflector Telescope 8400. If you want to read any part more detail, feel free to pause the video. I think out of all the telescopes, this one's the most detailed because it includes the pictures. Even my kids will find this easy to follow. some stickers for the kids. Set this up later. Put us to a side for now. A shutter control for smartphones. 20 millimeter. This one's the 10 millimeter one. This cell phone mount padded on back, bottom, top. It's all plastic construction except for the screw. It is expandable. Here's one of the lenses. This is the laser mount.
here's the refracting telescope. Mounts on the bottom. And some specs printed on the bottom too. This is for that laser. And this was the cap that goes on it. Screw in the front lens piece. Actually, it actually stays on. A lot of the other telescopes I got, this part, the front part just keeps falling off. I just end up putting like Teflon tape around it. The mini Astro is all set up. A fairly clear sky. There are some stars out. Part of the moon's out too. Usually when I try to focus on a moon, I just point this in the direction I think it is. My son's been using this more than I have. And I tried it. It's actually pretty handy. It's actually just look through this and try to zero in on the moon. If you need help zeroing, there's also a, a red dot in there too. I'm trying to use my phone to record through the telescope. I'm not using the cell phone mount that came with it. That's because the my phone is just too heavy for it. Maybe for like a uh, Samsung S6, it might be okay. But it's beautiful. And it's being able to see close up of the moon from so far away, it's great. This is a standard camera tripod, so it's made for cameras, camcorders, for telescopes. If I want to make those minute adjustments, I don't tighten this all the way. And that way, when I want to make these minor adjustments, I just tap on this a little bit and it'll slowly shift in the direction I want. Okay, when it's in position, let's leave it. Now, this did not come with a carrying pouch. I'm not bringing this to mountains. If I need to, it's not going to take up that much room. And I kept the box that came in, so that's not a big deal. But loved the, the, the quality. Very easy to use. Excellent instructions. I would recommend it. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Ocar Hamster. Bye.